That was surely a magical night. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Because I enjoyed it a lot. Yesterday's little adventure at the market really just left me with uh, a primo amount of coin. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good. I got a little jingle in my pocket, but the problem is no one's going to respect a little penny pincher like me walking around on foot. I need to get a, a, a primo way of transportation. You know what I'm saying? Frankly, I'm tired of making that fucking walk all the way down to Whiterun. Do you see how long? I, I mean, if I go to Riverwood, all right, that's not that bad. All right, a brisk walk. I could be there in, in, in 20 minutes. But then going all the way down to Whiterun, only to have Bellathor swindle me out of a nice deal. Are you kidding? I'm not doing that. I noticed on my way in one time there was a nice little stable there with a horse looking at me. I, I felt a connection there. Something pulling me towards this horse. And it wasn't that big throbbing penis. It was a look in his eye. Oh, shit. It's raining on my bald spot. Thank God I have my yarmulke to make everything better. These stables here, this is where I need to go. Hello, sir. I would love to purchase one of your beautiful stallions. One in particular that I've been looking at. He is, he's something else. Got one all settled if you've got the coin. Of course I've got the coin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I can't I can't handle walking another minute, alright? I need the due respect I deserve. So I'm gonna buy your horse for a thousand shekel deckle dues. See, my my theory is my theory is if I could just go into some uh, financial matters with you really quick, Skolvar. Um honestly time is money. The more time I spend walking my ass all the way to right run, it could be time that I could use, you know, making money. So I'm going to spend some money now to enhance my speed so that I can acquire more shekel deckle dues. You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Sweet berry ass. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh. It's beautiful. It was worth every penny. That is what is up. Oh yes. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Nothing like feeling the wind whistling through your bald spot. Oh, just strolling through town. <laughs> Don't act like you're not impressed, people. This is a thoroughbred stallion you're looking at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a Bulgarian Ridgeback. Something you people wouldn't know about. All right, you and your fucking pintos. I also think it would be in my best interest to acquire some self-defense people are gonna try to steal this I mean it's really I mean it's like leaving a Rolls Royce in a bad neighborhood well to be honest here uh Lucan I was hoping you'd sell some spells to me but he doesn't have anything besides a, a bunch of bullshit I'm gonna be honest with you it's been a long ride home but uh you know I think you can come on in horsey you're uh you're, you're a close enough friend you know what you can come right into my bed. I just realized. Where the fuck is my Atronach? Where's my bunk buddy? Who's been in my house? Who's fucking been in my house? Yours, I oh. Oh, ten gold. And. Since someone stole my last bed warmer. You will have to do. I'll make this easy on myself and shove you through the window. Open the sliding door. <clears throat> Pick up those muscly buns of yours. Yep, just <laughs> lay on the table. <laughs> Close the door on your feet. Come oh, his legs are stuck. Open the door. There we go. Beautiful. See? This didn't have to happen, but you stole my last little... Hold on, we gotta pose you so you look good. Somebody stole my... Ooh, there we go. My last little bed warmer. So, I mean, I had to find a replacement. You know, I can't just go without. 
doesn't work like that. Alright, I had to wait until daytime. It was just, uh, it was too spooky at night. You know? So I had a nice, nice, uh, little rested sleep with, uh, my little friend here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> hashtag blessed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I've decided, uh, I, I want to try to get a little bit more in tune with my ancestral magic. Uh, if I, if I go to my, if I look deep down in my powers, I find that Imperial Luck is here. Anywhere where gold coins might be found, Imperials always seem to find a few more. You know, it's just, uh, <laughs> ingrained into my genes. Into these sweet denim jeans. But I feel like I'm lacking. Look at all these. I don't, I really don't know many other tricks. <clears throat> other Jewish tricks. So, I've decided to go visit uh, someone that can help me. Uh, I've noticed that the Riverwood Trader, that guy is, is fucking useless. I heard one of uh, the Jarl's most trusted advisors might be able to assist me. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of money left over from buying this uh, beautiful steed, but look at the amount of respect I'm getting here. Look at this guy. He's looking at me. He's like, ah, shit. That is success. If I've ever said, excuse, excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to walk. Hello. I couldn't help but notice that you seem to have quite a lot of magical experience. Check this out. Check this out. <clears throat> I just bought uh, the mo the best fucking spell in the game. It's called the Shekel Shuffle. You move quietly for 180 seconds. I don't even know what that what it's under illusion. I don't even have enough magicka to use it. That's how good it is. <laughs> I probably should have done some calculations before I even bought it. We'll take the cool way out. Doing it this way is a whole lot faster and, and cooler. It's what all the cool people do, honestly. There we go. Yeah. Oh shit. Now that I have this horse, I mean, I'm just open and free to explore the world. All together, you know? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that man. What's he doing? He's getting fucking pwned. You're too far to drag to my house. But I can assure you, you're not too far away to kick your ass. Have you ever seen what cavalry does to a fucking an infantry unit? I bet you haven't. Come here. Come here. Take your lickings. Take your lickings. Don't you even think you for Oh, look at me dodging these, kid. Look at me dodging these, kid. It's like you don't even know what you're doing. Could you fucking run? You goddamn horse. This thing's hauling ass. You don't even have a horse. Hit the fucking thing. There we go. Is it dead? Yes, it is. That's that's the power of cavalry, you know. I've never been a really strong melee fighter, but uh, you know, maybe you're bringing something out in me. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I I feel like Sea Biscuit here. You ever seen that story? The rider that's too big on the horse that's too small. That's what I feel like a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm not saying you're too small. You know, I'm not saying you have a growth issue. I'm just saying you could be a little bit bigger. Hello, sir. Would you like to trade with me? I was thinking I have a couple jugs that you might love to see. Now ain't this a surprise. Never mind. No, no, no. It's fine, dude. Come on. Come on. I'm I'm just trying to trade with you. I got jugs out there. Hey, this motherfucker doesn't want any of my jugs. You come at me. I'm going to have to wallop that ass. You want me to wallop that ass? I'll fucking do it, lady. I'll fucking, I'll wallop the, uh oh, hold on, we're gonna go left swings, left swings. Dude, see, look what you made me do. Look, I'll accept some things in my life. You shoot my horse and we're gonna have issues. You shoot my horse, we're gonna have issues! Don't you fucking touch my horse, okay? 
Look. He's got an inferiority complex. Alright? He's only fucking four feet tall. So you don't fucking... What is this? What's this? Hmm? You smell that? Oh, that's something nice. The Jarl can, like, look out his bedroom and see what I've done. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to I know these guys attacked me, but... Come on. We're gonna have to... <laughs> We're going to have to hide the evidence on this one. In a couple hours, no one will know you existed. Unless they do some forensic, like, CSI type shit. Hey, whoa! Yeah, hey! 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 That's a fucking... That horse really ties the fucking game together. Stop hitting my horse! Holy shit! Hey! Hey! Cool it! Stop! Why are they only hitting him? Let's cut it out. This is fucking uncouth. I am sorry. I feel like, uh, I feel like... This is one of those mobster movies, you know, you see sometimes. It's like you go to bring a body out to bury it, and then people keep stumbling along, and so you keep having to dig fucking graves. So I can't let those guys live. Well, first and, for first and foremost, they attack my horse, which is just, that's just rude. That's bad form. And second, dear God, his hand is up there. Dude, he's like holding him down, just fucking fisting him with a... <coughs> he's... He's going at it. Says so you don't talk, Brad. You don't talk. I'm. I lost my watch in there. <laughs> Cut it out, dude. Get on the fire. Come on. I ain't got time for this. They'll never. They'll never think that you did it. All right. I'll just sprinkle some crack dust on him. I'll just put this coke powder on him. Look at this. Drop some of that. Look at that. A little bit of coke. A little bit of crack. You know. And now people won't think, uh, think the Imperial did it. People will be like, oh, it must have been the Red Guards. And now they're off my track. Get out of my way, Wolfie. Get out of my fucking way. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Son? Son. Get out of here. Son, I'll do it. I'll turn around. Get out of here. You made me do this. I didn't want to do it. I thought I could just ride on by and be super classy. And that guy came by, and he was going to be super sassy. Hello, farmer. How you doing? Do you like this steed? Look at that thing, huh? How you doing, man? Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? Is something wrong? Is something wrong, he asks? Yes, something is bloody well wrong. Or maybe you missed the demented little man in the jester's garb down by the road. Goes by the name of Cicero. Crazy fools asked me to fix his broken wagon wheel five times. He won't take no for an answer. Guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. I, I'm gonna do my part to keep these roadways safe because, frankly, and frankly, I have been pestered. I've been berated. I've been beaten. I've had my house broken into. Today alone, you know, I'm just trying to. I'm just. I got my horse. I just want to enjoy the roadways, and I've been nothing but assaulted. All right, it's time to clean these fucking roads up. And frankly, I'm not gonna let. This goddamn jester ruin it for this guy. He's sitting outside of his house pestering him about a fucking broken wagon wheel. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's 4th era 201 people. Alright? It's time that these roadways get safe. Alright, sir. We got an issue. These roads aren't safe anymore. Someone's got to put a stop to this and you, sir, look at those muscly arms. I think you could do it. My thanks for bringing this to my attention, citizen. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Oh, here we go. You know, it's good to see Law and Order again in Skyrim. You know, uh, uh, guards like this really just taking care of the big bad guys. And I'm trying to just ride my horse. Oh, God! I'm trying to ride the horse and everything's unsafe and then lo and behold we got the big muscly guard here to take care of it for me thank you sir so this is why i pay my taxes <laughs> most of my taxes but well, yeah i write off some stuff all right i got exemptions too you're out of touch uh you're out of time should have ran while you could with your broken ass wheel. You're out of touch. Oh, I'm out of time. This is my wheel now, motherfucker. I hid it from him so he couldn't even fix it even if he wanted to. You there. Hold. Hold fast. 
You've been accused of a crime against the laws of this land. What say you in your defense? What? what? A crime? Me? Preposterous! Poor Cicero is just standing here! Cicero loves order! Oh yes! He would never disrespect the law! Damn that glorious! Oh, how he will pay for this treachery! You just keep quiet and stay where you are. Soon as my relief arrives, We'll all take a nice little trip. Well, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, I mean, uh, the safety of the roads. Yeah, that's important to me, but, uh, Lorius also told me he would pay me. So, I mean, I did it for that reason, too, but he's asleep right now. Came up here to get my payment, but, uh, you know, I'll just harvest it. I'm just gonna help him out and just do a little bit of farm work, you know what I'm saying? Do a little bit of farm work here, real quick. Uh, get all the taters! Oh, the taters! Yes! Lorius, open up. I'm here. Yo, Lorius, uh, you know, I saw you weren't out on the farm, so I decided to just come on in for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, what's that? That looks nice. Okay, I'll get that later. Uh, hey, what's up, buddy? Well, is it done? Have you reported the fool to the guard? Absolutely. Haha, <laughs> oh, I knew I had a good feeling about you. Here, my friend. A few septums to show my thanks, huh? <laughs> and made that twisted little jester rot in a cell for a fortnight. Also, 250 shecks! Oh my god, dude. Little fool's going to experience the hard reality of Skyrim justice, eh? Well, I was actually hoping to sell you some of the food that I found outside. Um, little fool's going to experience the hard reality of Skyrim justice, eh? <gasps> Yo, it was stealing before, but now it's like free. Dude, I like you. Little fool's going to experience the Are we like best friends now or something? Justice. 17 gold? Dude, look! He'll even let me sleep in his bed, dude. We are the best of friends now. Look at this. Oh, make some savory vegetable soup, just like mom used to make. They still haven't taken him in, dude. He's just hanging out over here. Where'd the guard go? Did he just leave you? It's done nothing wrong. Glorious will pay for his treachery. I just witnessed some sort of disappearing act. I really did. All right. I was here. I walked down. I talked to Cicero one more time to kind of gloat in his face that he was going to be thrown into prison and I wasn't. And I'm over encumbered from picking up. Really? That's worth a shitload of, of monies. I'll throw down one of my pairs of shoes. How about that? I'll leave these here for one lucky son of a gun. But I came down here. Okay. And just to gloat in front of Cicero. That he was going to prison and I wasn't. And then I saw a couple butterflies. So I came over here and picked their little wings. Jumped on the backside of this. Did a 360 ladder stall. And then came around here. And his wagon's gone. You know, this coupled with what happened with the Isolde last time. I'm feeling like there might be some supernatural things happening here in the world of Sky Guy. I'm gonna go back to White Run, sell some goods to the blacksmith, and then uh, I'm gonna go make another visit to Sweet Old Bellathor, and then I'll be dropping by the White Run prisons to see how Cicero is handling his uh, his sentence. You know. All right. Uh, I don't know exactly where the jails are, but I think they're. Somewhere in the bowels of Dragon Reach. I've never been there myself. <laughs> I've always bribed my way out of going. Cicero, where are you? Cicero? What happened to Cicero? Where's he at? Uh, there was a man that was supposed to come here and be in a cell. His name's Cicero. Anyone know where he is? I could smell that from outside. If Cicero is not here, that means he never made it. Which means. Glorious will pay for his treachery! Oh, God. Come on, boy. Come on. Godspeed. Godspeed. 
Vantis? Vantis, are you here? Oh, no! <laughs> wanted was to just help and keep the roadway safe. I've done nothing but just make it worse. You know? <sighs> well. <sighs> Sorry to say, but my good deed it didn't end up being that good after all. Frankly. I think I might be done with good deeds altogether. What's this fire over here? Can I can I ever just come home and my house be fucking normal? I just saw fire over here. What's happening? See? Every time. It's cut it out, people. I'm trying to live here. This is my house. Christ. Home sweet home, right? After a demoralizing day. I want nothing more than just be able to just sit down and enjoy a home-cooked meal. What do we got here? We got some vegetable soup for the soul. Ah, made with the ingredients gathered right there at the very farm where today's tragedy happened. <gasps> Who the fuck keeps taking my goddamn bunkmate? This is, this is the last straw. It's like, every time I come home, someone's been in my house, you know? I mean, what does a guy have to do to make sure that he has someone to sleep with every night? Hmm? This is ridiculous. It's every time I come home. I swear, I, it has to be one of my neighbors. I don't know who it is. Frankly, these one-night stands are becoming tiresome. Perfect. Head mushed in the pillows, just like I like it. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching, but, uh, you know, bow chicka wow wow. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.